And so at one and six this season, the Wizards have had a bunch of issues that most teams that are one and six would have, Chauncey. So can you get any specifics out well, of that? Well, first of us? all, it's disappointing that they're one and six. Yep. The King gone out, coming out here out west, you would think this is a team that's focused to make that step. But we're going to go to the tape, and I'm going to show you why they haven't made that step. <laughs> Defense. What me and Coach up here like talking about, not Paul Pritz, but me and Coach. <laughs> 28th and opponent, wow. three-point shooting. This is a simple pick and replace. This is easy right here. Now watch right here. Watch the enthusiasm by Austin Rivers to try to get back and close out and contest. No chance. Defense right now is always communication and effort. I want you to watch the body language, this entire tape of this team. The spirit is down. 28th in the league in second chance points. Now look at that easy blow by. That's a contest on the shot, but you got four guys in the paint right here that can make a play on Willie Colley Stein, who, by the way, is having a good year, like Paul Pierce always talks about. But oh, yeah. watch Marvin Bagley right here. Goes untouched for another offensive rebound, the second on that play. 28th in the league in that area. Body language. Nobody. I mean, this is just, it's, it's poor spirit out there. 29th in opponent, fast break points. Now, he stopped the basketball. You're thinking, four guys here, they're going to have a chance to at least slow this play down. Look at this play, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -oh. This is not uh -oh. the way that you play in the NBA that I grew up and fell in love with. Now, these are four guys just watching a dunk. But guess what? This is the it's fourth close. quarter. This is a two-point ball game, six minutes left. And this is the effort that they're giving out. This is, and, and, and I got more bad news. It's not just the defense. Look at some of these offensive numbers. Yoinks. 26th in shooting and making threes. 25th and two point. I mean, it's all over the map here. The, the, the defense wow. and the offense yeah. is just leaking. It's a, that, it's a leaking faucet right now. It really is. When I, when I look at that, defensively and offensive, offensively, you're at the bottom. That's a lack of leadership right there, I think, between the players. You know, I think John Wall and Bradley Beal have to take responsibility for this. You know, somebody has to come into the locker room. I mean, I know the coach is tired of yelling, you know, let's pick it up, let's do this better. It has to come sometimes from a different voice within the locker room. And that's where one of those guys have to take over. One that's, of those guys? Well, which one? I think one? so. I mean, they're, they're the leaders of that team. They're the two all-stars. Can you have, they have two? to be well, a who, voice. Who's more somebody likely to has do it? to be the voice. One of those two. I mean, they're both mature now. They've been in the league a while. You know, they've signed I blame it on you, man. I blame it on you. No, I, I brought leadership to you. Did, you didn't teach them yeah, enough I before you left. <laughs> I brought leadership. Wait, there's a, there's hasn't a change. hasn't been the same since I left. There's a bit of a change for tonight, though. They are getting Dwight Howard back. This will be the first time playing with him. That'll be so, huge. And that's going to help them okay. a lot. I mean, look at their issues that Chauncey was talking. So their interior <clears throat> defense. You've now got a shot blocker. He's still one of the best defensive centers in the league, okay? They're rebounding. They're last on both boards, offensively and defensively. They get one of the best rebounders in the history of this league back. And then offensively, he's going to give them a threat at the rim, mm -hmm. catching lobs, dunking the ball, and sucking the defense in to create better looks for their shooters who right now are getting difficult shots on the perimeter. Oh, I, I understand, rightfully so, why all the focus is on Wall and Beal, but they have been there for a while, and this is a team that tends to let people down as the season goes on. Starting this way is a little bit bizarre, Chauncey. Realistically, expectations for that duo is what? Again, you like, like I said, you, you, like Paul said, you got two All-Stars there. You're in the Eastern Conference. I would, My thing would be they should be a top-four team in the Eastern Conference. Mm -hmm. Will they be? I'm not sure. They should be a top four team in the Eastern Conference. Two All-Stars, the King gone. I mean, that's what I would think. It's not looking. It's not, not looking not like looking it's so going to work out. I mean, do you, so what do you do? Do you see this combination working out? Do you see the Bradley Bill, John Wall combination working out? Well, I don't know if it's just those two guys. I mean, that's the thing. They get all, and, and they should. I mean, they're the All-Stars, so they've got to take the re responsibility. But, you know, Markeith Morris, Otto Porter have to be better, yeah. too. Otto yeah. Porter's off to a bad start. Um, about the only guy who's playing up to his capabilities right now is Kelly Oubre off the yes, bench. Yes, he is. There's really yeah. not anybody else playing the way they need to play for this team yeah. to win. They're too, they're too talented to be one. I'm surprised you yes. didn't just yell, blow it up. I figured you'd just be like, blow the whole thing up. Start over. <laughs>